Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project, and welcome to another video in our Fiddle Techniques series. Last week we talked about the hammer-on and how to use it in your playing, and today we're going to be diving into the slide. And I'm going to give you a couple of different examples of different styles that the slide can be used in, and maybe that'll give you some ideas of how you can use it on your own. And before we get into this lesson, if you do find this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to The Tune Project but enjoy my videos, I invite you to click that red subscribe button below and the bell so that you can be notified each time I upload a new video. All right, so the slide is pretty much as simple as it sounds. We are taking a note and we are sliding into it. So with the hammer-on, we talked about how we have a main note, and when we add the hammer-on, we're including the note that comes before it. Same thing applies with the slide, although in this case, we are sliding into that note rather than playing them as two separate notes. In a lot of cases, a slide is chromatic, meaning we simply slide over the distance of a half step, but sometimes it's more than that. It just kind of depends on what you're playing and in what context. But in this case, we're going to be talking about the chromatic slide. For example, sliding from an F natural to an F sharp, which would sound like this. Okay, and you could also slide backwards. That one's a little bit less common, but also just as fun to play. So I invite you to try that slide with me. Let's just start with our first finger and we're just gonna go from this F natural to F sharp on the E string. And now I wanna show you a tune that is an Irish tune that includes this F natural to F sharp slide. And it goes like this. All right, so that is just an example of a tune that includes a slide, and that one is a little bit more on the quicker side. Now, a slower example of a slide is in an old time tune, and it goes like this. So that is an example of a slide that's a little slower and you might even say a little bit more discreet. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the slide can be applied to a multitude of styles, anything from jazz to old time to bluegrass, Irish, Scottish, uh, Western swing, pretty much anything, you name it, you can probably throw the slide in it. So that's the fun thing about the slide and I would encourage you to get creative with it and see how many different types of styles you can apply the slide to and maybe you have a tune that you're working on right now and maybe you can find a couple of places where the slide would make sense to be applied. Now one thing to note about the slide is it is supposed to be used as an ornament so we want to use it to enhance a main note rather than overpower it. So that's just something to keep in mind. Depending on the style that you're going for, you can choose to be really bold with your slides or you can choose to be a little bit more subtle with them and just basically enhance whatever you're playing. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video on slides. Hopefully you have already thought of maybe a couple of places that you can start to incorporate the slide into your own playing. And until next time, happy practicing. And if you're planning on buying any music or doing any shopping on Amazon, be sure to head over to the Tune Project website, which I linked in the description box of all of my videos. Click my Amazon banner and whatever you purchase, a small percentage of that will go toward the Tune Project. This just keeps the Tune Project going and allows me to continue to create free content for you all.